In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For in him, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. All right, join us this week as uh, we head out to Missouri to hook up with good friends, Daniel Monsier and Matt Perkins. These guys lay down some of the best footage you've ever seen. We can't wait to share this hunt with you. What is up, guys? My name is Matt Perkins, and I'm from Southeast Missouri. I live in a small town of Puxco, and this is my whole 2017 wrapped up in a half an episode. So in 2017, this year, I really wanted to focus on one piece of property, and that is my wife's grandparents' farm. They own about 200 acres of ground, and I've never killed a deer on it, so this year was gonna be the year that I set out to do it. Um, and right off the bat, starting in August, I started putting food plots in. I got a little food plot in, and it seemed like the week I put the food plot in, um, rain just quit. And of course, food plots, they didn't do very well. So the deer kind of moved off, but I'm 22 years old and I had never killed a turkey at the time and um, was checking the cameras and of course I was getting a few turkeys on the camera so I thought well if I'm not going to kill a deer early season I might as well go after the turkeys. So it was that opening day of deer season I ended up not even going that morning because the weather was just bad. It had been real hot and humid like I said it hadn't rained in months it seemed like and everything was just dry. So that afternoon I got dressed, got the bow out of the case, hopped on the four-wheeler and took off into the woods. Take a look back to your very first hunt. Who were you with? What were you hunting? In that very moment, your legacy began. Whether you know it or not, we all have a ritual. It may be that lucky pair of socks or your routine before or after a hunt. Whatever it may be, trust that hunt to the most shootable and efficient bow ever developed. Honor the ritual.
We have been trusted on some of the most significant projects around the world. And now we're in the heartland of America. Our products dig deep, lift more, and stack higher with a warranty you can depend on. Soon you'll realize that trusting our quality changes the world. Check our website for a dealer near you. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bows. It was getting to be around 5.30 or so and things were pretty slow. I hadn't seen any deer, no turkeys and nothing. I thought it was going to be a flop. And I happened to catch some movement out of the corner of my eye and I looked over and I seen this bird step out of the woods. I'm like, all right, here we go. And I, I've got a bow and I'm self-filming. I'm in a tree stand. I'm like, there is no way I'm fixing to shoot this bird. After I shot the bird, it may not look like it, but I was pumped. First people I called was Bruce, Doug, and Daniel. Got on the phone with Daniel. He came over, helped me do some recovery footage, helped me take some pictures. And I thought September 15th, already got a bird on the ground. It's gonna be an awesome year. Well, it is November 23rd, and it's Thanksgiving morning. Um, my wife was uh, kind enough to let me come and sit for a few hours this morning before we have to meet with family. But I'm just so thankful and blessed that I get to be able to sit here and enjoy this morning. Uh, it's crystal clear. The sun's just coming up. I've got a cup of coffee. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. And, you know, there's families out there, and there's guys that struggle, and you know, are not able to do this. So um, I think we don't need to take for granted the times that we get to sit in the stand. Uh, season has been rough. The deer movement has been slow, but uh, just to be able to sit out here and enjoy this, um, it's just something that uh, it never gets old. And I feel like some days I come out here and I get discouraged because I don't see any deer. And in reality, you know, it's, it's not all about seeing deer. Um, it helps, but just being able to get away and sit and think and enjoy uh, what was created for us, um, that's what it's about. And it's a true blessing that we get to do this. And uh, I think the whole outdoor industry has been reminded here uh, as of late that just because the antlers um, aren't, aren't the biggest or the body isn't the biggest and the deer isn't six years old, doesn't mean that that's not a trophy to somebody so you never know what's going to happen this morning um, I've let quite a few deer walk this year uh, but this morning um, I'm wanting to kill something pretty bad I've never killed a deer on Thanksgiving so I don't know <laughs> you never know what will happen but I'm going to sit here for a couple of hours and Maybe I'll see something, maybe I don't. But if I don't, you know, I'll still be happy. It's been an awesome morning so far. Uh, Jeremy Davis on the team. Got a text message from him that he killed something, so I'm excited to see what he's got on the ground. 
So we're going to sit here for a little bit and maybe we can double up with him. So throughout the remainder of the season, I didn't have any opportunities to shoot a deer. Didn't even see a shooter buck all year. Had a few small deer that I could have shot that just weren't weren't the size that I was wanting. Um, I seen a few small, you know, does and stuff. I just didn't want to take. Had an opportunity to shoot a bobcat. Missed it at 15 yards. Don't know how that happened, but he's going to live to see another day. Well, anytime an opportunity presents itself, especially a turkey, and uh, you score. Um, especially with a bow, man, I mean, to, to get it done with the Elite, uh, what a great blessed hunt. And his first bird ever self-filmed, what a great hunt. Now we're going to head out to uh, hunt with Daniel Montier as he chases the elusive whitetail. Starting out the season, I put out game cameras and a couple food plots. And I had this encounter with this buck. I mean, I've, I had him behind my house several times. I had him on game camera. I'm thinking for 2017 that maybe September 15th I will get it done because this is a nice 125, 130 inch deer that was showing up every day. For sales and service you can count on, choose Vanderveer Chevrolet. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Last Chance Archery. Well, after climbing a stand a few times right after September 15th, I had no encounters with the bucks I was going after. It's like, I guess they just went dormant or went strictly at night, but I've got to get out there and try to get a buck that I'm going after.
Well, after climbing a few sets, the, the young bucks were chasing and uh, going after the does, hot and heavy. Didn't see any mature bucks, so I held off. And I knew Missouri rifle season was coming in in a few days, so it's time to sit back, get away from the stands, and then wait for that final moment to climb on a good cold day. Hey guys, God is good, isn't he? We're on the fourth day of Missouri rifle season and the first couple days has been just difficult. Tomorrow we got a, a high front coming through. Um, hopefully that starts getting things moving this evening. Trying to do an e evening sit. Have some deer on the cameras. Um, four different bucks coming in. Two of them definitely not shooters. Two on borderline 120, 130 deer. Um, coming quite frequently to my um, food plot. So I'm gonna go and sit in the stand that I just put up, see what happens. I'm not, not expecting too much because right now I think they're in the lock, lockdown phase of the rut. So it's hard to get out there and, and just sit all the time and not see much, but it makes for a more interesting time if you get there and see a bunch of deer. But the last few days has not been that way. They, I'm not seeing them move around the farm heard a lot of gunshots around the area so they got to be moving or going somewhere but on our place which we have 600 acres and it's not like that and I know they're there so it just takes a matter of time before they get comfortable and start moving back out again so we'll go out here and sit this evening and see what walks out in front of us or beside us or, or anywhere hopefully on this on this great food plot that I got but I'm getting down the road here, got about a 10 minute drive. The weather's exceptional. It's kind of got a few clouds, but the sun's moving in, in and out kind of, but it's supposed to cloud up more later. Like I said, there's rain, a chance of rain tomorrow. So I think they'll be moving this evening. Done and out. Preparation is vital to success. But what is vital to preparation? For hunters, it's a high quality, reliable target. That is why, at Walk on Archery, we have spent hours honing our skills and perfecting our methods to help you perfect yours. From practice to play, and from play to the stand, we're with you every step of the way. Because we don't just make targets, we make better hunters. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Whitetails Unlimited.
Man, this buck was spooked in front of me. Now, he wasn't looking my direction. He kept on looking behind me. And he all, all of a sudden, you see him just tail up, run out, white flag and all. Boy, was I disgusted. Well, looking behind, I was on the phone with Matt, not paying attention, really. I heard a noise behind me. I think I figured out why that buck ran off. Looked over my right shoulder. The only thing I thought about is getting a camera over, flipping the record button, and pulling up my gun. Well, excited and pumped at the same time, but I knew it was ready to climb out of the tree. Climbed down the ladder, not even walking 25 yards away. I looked to the ground and man, it all hit me at once, blood trail. I'm self videoing this. My stand's right there. I just shot that buck right here. I'm walking up here to see blood. Right now, I don't see nothing. I'm gonna point this forward. This way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh gosh. Got him. Oh, look at that mess. Oh. Nice eight pointer. Yes. You got a smile on this face, man. I've had a hard season. This is the first mature buck that I've seen in weeks. Thank God, number one, my family for letting me come out here and do this. And then created outdoors for having an opportunity to come out here and video and get these hunts. I don't know much to say right now, I'm shaking. Man, after recovering the buck and then just realizing, recapping the season, that uh, it all went by fast, but it was slow. And I didn't know at this point, after the, all the hard hunting I was doing, that I would even shoot anything. I, I complained to several of my buddies. I just wasn't seeing the caliber, the caliber of the deer that I wanted. But I just knew by the grace of God, it was gonna happen. If you stay at it and stay persistent, it will come. Well, great job, guys. You know, I'm so proud of, of these Missouri guys. Everything they do, their footage, uh, their, their presentation, and just who they are as men, uh, they shine in everything they do. So uh, we are more than blessed to have you guys as part of the Created Outdoors family, and we love having you guys be part of the story that we tell. Nobody, 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 nobody even knows my name.